yo, yo, what's good, peace? It's time for me to look at the top five games released in November 2016, so make sure you keep it locked. Number five. Now keeping it real, when I initially played the beta for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, I still wasn't really that blown away, but after playing this game the other day with a couple of friends, I thought that this game wasn't as bad as so many people have slayed it for. But the main reason this is in my top 5 is due to the fact that it included Modern Warfare, which is one of my favourite shooters of all time. It's hard to deny that the interesting thing about Call of Duty games is that it always manages to get some form of buzz with its new releases. Whether it's a good buzz or a bad buzz, it still gets some form of energy behind it. Even if the gameplay is pretty much much the same as it always is the community still gets behind this game i personally feel that battlefield one is a hotter pick out of the two games if you were to ask me but i do also feel that the game does have an exciting factor behind it and the campaign is pretty cool some people did blast the space theme but i still feel like it's a nice look for a call of duty game even though sometimes it does take elements from a game such as time falls 2 or halo but i do feel like this kind of twist to the game isn't as bad as so many people have made out i'm not really the biggest fan of the multiplayer because there are a few little issues here and there but on the whole the game is fun which is exactly what you want from a game i know this game has been put down but i don't think it's as bad as so many people have made out so if you really feel like you want to buy a call of duty game i don't see why you shouldn't pick this game up number four Yo, Blaze Blue games are great fighters, so finding a new title in the series is always a very interesting and fun moment for me personally. Central Fiction is a great addition to the series because it does bring more moves, more fun and more excitement unlike never before. There is a great roster of characters to choose from and so many great game modes to pick that this game will definitely keep you entertained for hours. The story mode is cool but there is a lot of reading and also once you master some of the game moves it does become a pleasure to play this game. This is actually quite a niche title that not many people are familiar with but in terms of a fighting game it definitely brings a lot to the table and I find that the next generation of consoles fighting games are not really at the forefront in terms of the genre but there are quite a few hot fighting games available especially on the PlayStation 4 that are worth a look and I feel that this game is without question one of those games that definitely needs a lot of attention if time presents itself I may try and drop a review for this particular game as it does need more exposure for the fighting game fans out there number three now I only got this game the other day and before taking the plunge I didn't actually think I would appreciate the game for what it is as I'm not really the biggest fan of first person action adventure games but for what I've played so far this game is pretty cool. After a very successful first entry in the series Dishonored 2 manages to up the ante just a little bit more in order to present something which is definitely going to be liked from some of the fans from the previous entry. Aside from a few performance problems that can easily be fixed the game is nothing short of outstanding. It's an amazing stealth game with plenty of fun action and interesting killing mechanics. If you've always wanted to play a good stealth game this might be the ultimate pick up and play for you and it's not really that expensive so I feel like definitely try and consider this game for the future maybe for Christmas or so because it is really a cool game. Number 2 Final Fantasy XV was 10 years in development and now it's finally here. It definitely has a massive scope, some interesting gameplay mechanics and the entire experience is all sort of exciting to begin with. If you really enjoy the idea of playing an action packed and immersive RPG experience, this is one of the most likely best on the market in this regard. Yet again, this is another game that I literally just got the other day so I haven't really put that much hours into it but when I played the beta a few months back I definitely knew that this would be something pretty special. I'm not the biggest RPG fan on the planet so this this game isn't the best game that I've personally played but knowing that there's countless hours of gameplay and the visuals of the game is impressive I know that this game is well worth the money if you're into RPGs then by all means this game is definitely a must buy number one welcome to dead Sack. Yo, so many people have written this game off simply based off Watch Dogs 1. I personally like Watch Dogs 1, but I feel that part 2 brings it to a whole nother level. This game is colourful, fun and exciting. I love the fact that you can do each and every mission how you see fit with multiple gadgets or just go in all guns blazing or stealth. The story and characters are a pleasure to witness and also the whole vibe behind this game is just simply cool. I love the fact that you can team up with mates and tackle some missions together and there are so many side missions that you could be playing this game for hours upon ends. All 
in all, this is definitely the best game that I played in November 2016 and possibly one of the reasons why I haven't had the opportunity to play the other four games that I mentioned on this list as much as this game has been occupying my PlayStation 4 since its release. Anyway, peeps, thanks for quickly watching this quick Urban Gameplay Countdown video looking at my five favourite games of the month of November 2016. What was your five favourite games or what was your favourite game that was released in November 2016? And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've not done so before and just a quick heads up from next month i'm going to aim to actually start looking at games from the start of the month so basically looking at the hottest games that are going to come out each and every month so be sure to look out for that and until next urban gameplay video we definitely say peace out peace subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos.